This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what? All right, a little change of venue for the DMP High School football game of the week. But here in the rain in Curry Hall in a matchup in Division I between Mefford Mill and a record of 7 and 1. As you. And Curry Hall undefeated here at 8 0. Oh, yeah. That's a nice 7 0. For Curry Hall. The Gators so far, Coach Clarkman's on the field before the game. Their offense is their strength, and they received the ball and wanted to take it themselves. Well, the box. you go to your strength first. This is true. Oh, the 18 yard line will be first down for the Gators. Rain hopefully should be keeping stopping the, by halftime. Keeping the ball dry is going to be a problem. Definitely in this rainstorm here. I think they should place the ball after they come out of the huddle. Eleven fifty two here early in this. First and ten for Prairie Hall, they own twenty four. A lot of movement up front. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking And that looked like an offsides against the Millers, perhaps. That was a false start. Oh, the false start against Prairie Hall is going to move them back five. We've had Division One's matchup here tonight, and the next week will be in Orange Mills for the Division Two matchup between Hanford and Orange Mills next week. And another undefeated team in the Miller. It's going to be the Eagles. Let's go, Mills! No, 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 you got it, you got it. Put the elevator. The only thing in the way is the, the umbrella, but it's kind of good. Oh, yeah, Kyle! Yeah. <laughs> Snap! Throws a short cart. They got him right there. So it's going to be second down and about 13. And that's how you gang tackle. Everybody goes to the ball. Well, we got to see Memphis Mill against Dundalk back in late September. And one thing in that game, Memphis Mill stayed in that gap. And they was able to take control of the game as the game went on. Second and long here for the Gators. Snap. Run up the middle and maybe they are down there. Well, right now, they're taking care of y'all off the ball. That penalty hurt their offense dearly. Third long coming up here. That's to be Terry Hall, 18, game of three. And that's like third and ten. That's what I know. They're all back at the line. Let's get this ball back! It's got to be a pass play. Definitely. Safety's up. Near yeah, the first down mark. No, you will not! Flag late! That's got to be a whole lot. Uh, pass is incomplete. There is a penalty mark there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Bill Burns! And they did, and the punt unit coming out. Yeah, that was a no-brainer. You didn't see that on the offense. That penalty is going to fly. It's all the play is fourth and ten for the Gators. Fourth down. Rhino. 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 This is where Memphis Mel can be dangerous here. This is where they are, Jack. Let's go, Bob! High snap! Lost it! And near the 10, Coastal Field assistant for the Millers in their 
fans, they love that. That's the perfect of playing with a best ball. Those things are going to happen, but um, at least he didn't get a safety out of that. He gave it three pressure safety. Uh, like I said, it could have been a worse result than a safety. It, 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 it could have resulted into a touchdown. It's so. a pass. Uh, Here's move by the punter. It was. So first and ten here for Memphis Mill. First and goal for the Mellers. Run, cuts, and a gain of about three. Second and goal at the seven. <laughs> I, I, I think the art of tackling is kind of like weak because um, you coming out there going for somebody. So we had a on Sutton, the ball carrier. This is true. Gains one yard. That's a one yard game. Very hot nine yard line. A good running back in the board to save that game. From the end. One minute run again to the outside. Cuts and works. And that might be a touchdown. Yep, and they did there. Touchdown, Millers. I don't think the rush ever signaled a touchdown, but no, I didn't see nobody hitting the ball. Right? Sutton, the ball carrier, in for a Milford Girl nine yard touchdown. Block. So that's no good. It's a six nothing affair. The point after is blocked. And with 9.20 remaining in the first quarter, your score, Milford Mill 6, Curry Hall 0. So the Millers took advantage of the short field, usually there, and up 6. Well, when you only got 9 yards to go. I mean, hey. And 4 downs to get there. That's a lovely way to do it. Yeah, that's a lovely way. <laughs> Seems like the rain slacking up here. Yep, we're hoping it does. <laughs> and it looks like around the 7 o'clock hour, as you're filming this, it will be slacking up. Here on the kick return. This one, you might as well let it go out of bounds. Actually, that illegal procedure against uh, Medford Mill there is going to bring the ball to the 35. So it kind of gives you a better field position right now. Yep. They just can't set themselves behind the sticks like they did on the first drop. No, they can't. They hurt them daily, they hurt them in special teams when the high snap as well. Let you know what's going on throughout the area. Big matchups throughout the state. Quinn Orchard and Northwestern. Northwestern State may renew their rivalry out in uh, Montgomery County. That should be a good one out there. The defending 4 a champions, two times. Champions in it. 9.20 left here in the first quarter. They got a three wide receiver set to the. Oh boy! Quarterback got a scamper. And the high snap. Two in a row there. He did. That's the good news. Two high snaps in a row, Coach Clark. And Sean Conway on the carry. Four stop. Yeah, the centers have a problem with that bad game. Ferguson. But they actually lost a couple yards. And they lost it. Second down and 10. No game. It's a second down and 10. Second and 12. Second and 12. Yeah, he lost two. Lost two on that play. The pins come back up at the second down. That was definitely a pass play. No doubt. Well, we got to see the offense here. Of, uh, here it goes. Let's go. Low snap. Oh, and complete. Remember, Mel had that scouted. Yeah, if he'd have picked that off, that was a walk in touchdown. Perry Hall had the top time to get the offense. The pass is incomplete. Deflected by number 80, the game is Blackwell. 
The toughest opponent for Purdy Hall all season long. We talked to their head coach. They had some tough games. You know, Dundalk was a seven point game for Purdy Hall, and Franklin had to play them both in the same week because of weather. But this is a different ammo here with the defending 2A champions. It's going to be third down and 12. <coughs> Need to get to the 45. Went with a nice run there. Not going to be enough. Oh, they wasted. Second punt attempt here for Perry Hall. I, I didn't see that Perry was going to run in that ball. Perry Hall, go for it, go up there, have the waist of the down. Let's stay here, they did that because some space to punt. But again, the snap has to be good. They have changed the football now. Nice. Better. No, 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 no. And right at the 35 is where Memphis Mill will be soon for the second time in the contest. Yeah, you to bring down a little bit. Hey, Rhino, down ball by eight. What's up, How you doing, sir? How you doing? You know what I was talking about? I guess this so first and ten at the 35 for the Millers, that's second possession of the game. This is a real long possession this time, unlike the first one. It was only nine yards. Hurdy, throws in the middle. Caught, and the game now fine. That'd be a six yard gain there. And the wife wiping the ball off. Nice play, the nice way to avoid the rush. It was, it was a quick pass. Sean Purdy's pass complete. Actually, the defender kind of came out. He did. Second down and three. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Run. Cuts around, nowhere to go. It's going to be third and short coming up. Most important thing right now in the rain, I guess, you got to be able to hold on to that ball. Yep. Rain. <laughs> Starting to slack off a little bit here. It's not as heavy as it was. Number five, David Ferguson, the ball carrier. You don't feel no rain at all. It's right, still coming down a little bit. It's a little, it's a little dry, but not as much. Third down and four. The Millers need to get the ball to the 46 of Perry. Excuse me, up Memphis Mill to continue to drive against Perry Hall here. Miscommunication. Miscommunication there. Fourth down, put in it. Out here for the Millers. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to get the field Intended for number nine, Daryl Pearson. Brings up fourth and four for Belfort Mill. It's not raining. Putt in it. Here for the Millers. Low snap. Oh! Perfect field position here. The play hard. He actually took it. He's got room. He's got running room. Picked up at the 25. And the Gators in business. They remember Mel Yeah, that was a big gamble there. Yes, it was. He rolled the dice. He didn't get six. He got four right there. That was good. That was good, but it was Good gamble, good heads up play also. There it was. I like the gamble. Number two, Noah Williams returns the deflected punt to the Milford Mill 22 And you know Perry Hall needs a big play like that to get himself going here. First and ten for the Gator. So let's see if they can take the advantage of this good field position. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Run! Oh, yeah. Run. Yeah. 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 
That play wasn't going away because it was slow developing. Number one, Dallas Conway Miller's on the carry. Stop that big time. The handoff is a little slow. Brought down at the Milford Mill 22 for no game. Brings up second and ten. What I want to see is can somebody game. get into a rip. Run up the middle. That's a game of about maybe six. Let's see what they mark it at. Oh, that's about, a, that's about four and a half. Number three, Deshaun Conway, the ball carrier, brought down by number 10, Malachi Barnes, and number 21, Kobe Jones. At the Milford Mill 18 yard line, a four, four, four brings up no third and six for the Gators. Unless they got a good field goal kicker. And I didn't see them warming nobody up. Backfield empty. This is a quarterback draw. It is. Nice hustle. A stutter step, and he might have been close to the mark. First down. Number four, Jacob Wagner on the carry. Wagner with the run. Brought down by number 10, Malachi Barnes. When we kind of looked and seen on that side, there was no wide receivers. 12 yard line. I figured that was going to be that. Rain has slacked off here Gator somewhat. Gator six is enough for a Perry Hall Gators first down. White rain. Hoping well, it becomes no rain safe. 4.57 left here in the first quarter. Now the receivers are in set now. And the backfield again. Again, another quarterback draw. Got it on his feet. And that's a very nice tackle. quarterback job because the quarterback is not behind the left. That's more of a wildcat. No surprise, Perry Hawes went to the wildcat. Number four, game. Jacob Wagner, the ball carrier, brought down by number 80, Blackwell, at the Milford Mill eight yard line. Gain of four brings up second and six for the Gators. So they can get a first down before they get before they even have to score. That's true. Second down here. Looking, run to the edge. He gets there as a touchdown. He will get there. And the game is even at six. Touchdown there. Number three, Dallas Conway on the carry. Into the end zone for an eight yard Perry Hall Gators touchdown. How about that? We play hall trying to kick the extra point. Back in Miami, back in the old days when the defensive line No good. Block. Clean that stick. So we got gimmick kicking going on in this one. The tie six ball game. Yeah, between these two. The Division One title in Baltimore County on the line. The winner will hand that Division One title. And we I know. Memphis Mel season's over in the regular season after this one. They'll be looking towards the Orange Mills Hefford game next week for them in 2A. If Orange Mills wins that game, they'll be the top seed in the 2A North, surprisingly enough, this season. <laughs> good one so far, Coach Clark. We're tired at uh, six. Yeah, it's a good one so far. I'm hoping the weather will turn the tide. It's starting to, it feels like a little. How about, how about the big lineman there with the kickoff here? Yeah. <laughs> 
a line driver. And it spin on it. It, it had some top spin on it there right there the 30. Number 34, Cam Rice recovers. Number 71, Joe Cook's yeah, jump kickoff. On and it'll be first and 10 for Milford Mill from their own 30 yard line. Lane picking up again. <laughs> Run up the middle, gain a couple. Good pursuit by Freddie Hall. It was. Number five, David Ferguson on the carry. Brett Dahmer, number 55, Trevor Taylor. Both teams they take advantage of uh, short fields to have a six-all game so far. Russ shot the ball. Excuse me, shot the clock with 316 levers. Second down and seven. Yeah. 324. That's all cheerleaders tonight here in this rain. It was it. <laughs> all right. Second down and seven. Hurdy to throw. Caught it low. That'll be enough for a first down. It looked like it will be. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta help the quarterback out. Especially in these conditions right now. Right up the middle. And a nice tackle up the middle there. Pain of about two. Second and eight and a half coming up. Number zero, the Montreal Wizards. Uh oh. Run to the outside, cuts back inside, and got stopped there. Might have just got back to the line. I'm kind of wondering if they're footing also because um, they seem to be slipping a little bit. Number zero, Lamonte Royce to the ball carrier. Right down Ran pretty good before the contest Williams started. At the Milford Hill 44 for no game. Brings up third and nine for Milford Hill. One thing about turf, it don't leave a mess, but you can slip sometime on the puddles of water. Hurdy, throws, caught. Good pitch to catch. To Sean Curdy's pass complete number two, Owen Newport. How do you leave the receiver there? Perry Hall, 40 yard line. Gain of 16 on the play is enough for the That's way to go. Perry Hall looked like they're playing in the zone. They just play. And tackled in the backfield there. No way to go. Yeah, the good pursuit by Perry Hall. We've got about a minute left in the quarter here. I get two more plays left in it. Loss of two brings up second and twelve. Well set wide open. And complete, wasn't able to keep possession. The clock should stop. 
Yeah, they did with 32 seconds. Should be a couple more. Yeah, they lost about a good six. Sean Purdy's pass incomplete. Tended for number 201. Brings up third and 12 on the field. Big play for both teams right now. Yes. Yeah. Third and 12. Purdy to pass. Incomplete. And the punt unit should so come out here from Memphis Mill. And it comes Daryl Pearson. Brings up fourth and 12. In a big game like this, you want to play field position. Example. Definitely agree to that. This should be the last play of the half. Oh, you mean the fourth quarter? I stand correct. I mean, it, it feels like a a mini half, but it is half of the first. Half. Nice punt. Just got it off. Look like a boomerang. It's gonna take a Memphis Mill bounce near the ten. All right, that's where Perry Hall will start. Oh, it's field position and it's field position. Too early to begin. No doubt. So now we're coming up to the last play of the first quarter. This is true. Milford Mills punt is down at the Perry Hall 10 yard line and it'll be first and 10 for the Gator. You know, I'm looking at this game and I'm saying first team that developed a running game for one of those I go in the first. They switch sides after one. Here in the game of the week. It's a tie six game here in Perry Hall with Perry Gators and Method Mill, the Division One title, Mormon County, in the balance in the second quarter. Back here coming up. Pretty good swing for Second quarter here about to get going tomorrow. Stein goes three o'clock here, which end. Here to start the second. Second and about four for Perry Hall here. Nice run on the side there. And let's see what the ref's marking. That might be a first down, look like it is. First down. Wow. Deshaun Conway's pass to pick number six, Tyler Green. Brought down by number six, Cam Jefferson at the Perry Hall 24 yard line. Game of 11 is enough for the Perry Hall Gators first down. And it is. First and ten here for Perry Hall. Right up the middle and a nice run. Splits. First down yardage. Good blocking to open up the hole. It was. Number 14, the Wagner on the carry run down by number 17, Tyler Hills, and number 2 on the new boy at the Perry Hall 30 yard line. You say whoever would develop a running game would win this one, and Perry Hall's running game starting to emerge a little bit here. Perry Hall Gators first down. Yeah, they really got to that. Whoever develops a running game in this level. First and ten for the Gators at their own 40. That's assuming at their own 39. Another quarterback run. Scamper up the middle. And a hop skipper in there. Yeah, but he made something out of nothing. You ain't kidding. 
He should have been tackled for a loss. He made something. I gotta give him credit. Sean Palmer with the ball carrier. They're going number seven, David Woods. Actually, it was my mistake that touchdown was by the quarterback. 43 yard line, gain of four on the play, brings up second and six for the Gators. Just to get something out of that was a good effort by the quarterback. No doubt. <laughs> Run. Able to go around the edge. Cuts. And nail the marker again, again of eight. Second run that should not have developed. But that's good effort by the back. Good vision right there by the back. Yeah, he made something out of nothing there again. Number one, kind of like the uh, 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 yard line. The line seems to be taking over. Six on the play is enough for another Perry Hall Gators first down. The line play is great for Perry Hall. It is. The thing is, Perry Hall is not really passed the ball all that much in the ball. They haven't. They did those short passes. Run with another run here up the middle. And a gain of about two and a half. But if it's working, you stick with it. No doubt. And it is. Keep running until they stop. And you can do a play action fake off of this. Yep. Short pass, no way to go there. Third down and seven. Deshaun Conway's pass intended for number six, Tyler Green, is incomplete. The result of the play will be third and seven for the Gators. So we'll After that eight. first play, when they tried that pass and they worked, they've been going short. A little drizzle now. Can't afford to beat yourself in a game like this. Memphis Millen. That was kind of touched a little bit. You might have got a little finger on it. Yep. 
Miller's getting the ball here at their own 33 yard line, looks like. The Norfolk Mill, the Always keep them legs moving. You never know what's going to happen. Old Mill and Glenn Burney playing as we speak. 14 6 in that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Throws it up. The receiver was down on his feet and got back up. Not quite. Yeah, he slipped. How about Old Mill? If they win tonight, they will win at around the county for the first time. I would say at least since 2015, I think. It'd be huge uh, for the Patriots. Six forty-nine left in the first half, and a six-six tie so far. They're coming for Purdy there. Did he catch it? They say he caught it. Go! Right, to me, he caught it too from my angle. Sean Purdy's pass complete to number nine, Gerald Pearson. Pearson went out though, he got hit in the side. Run play coming. Nice side step. That's the first down. And everyone tripped up over the touchdown. as they're marching towards the end zone. <laughs> A timeout by Memphis Mill looks like. Hey, Hall, excuse me, yep, yeah, timeout. And that's the Gators. Uh, First time out. We're back. All right, back to game action now. And run right there, game. What about maybe six? Twenty-five game of Ferguson on the carry by number five, Craig Costner number six. By your game. Second and five. Run to the edge. Blitz. First down. Oh, Memphis Mill. The Miller's offense in gear right now on this drive. Yeah, they, they beat them at the line of scrimmage. Running kind of a sugar huddle there. Spins out of that. Spins out of that. They nailed him right in the line there. Might have gained a yard. Might have gained a yard there on that one. 540 and counting left here in the first half. Fast second half. I mean, fast second quarter. It is. Remember, Memphis Mill get the ball back first in the second half. Yes, they did. John Kell all over St. Paul, 42 to 10. Wide open! No, too far. Had a wide open. Caught Perry Hall sleeping. <laughs> but couldn't complete the play. A run door. Seven of over South River. Sean Curry's pass incomplete. Tended for number nine. Could be called a matchup between uh, Curly and uh, St. Barry. And the winner be second place behind Kakoya yeah. Pratt. And the beat. 
Third down and ten here. Purdy. Whoa. Nope. Incomplete. Decision time for Coach White and company. It's not a decision time. You got to go for this. The play will be fourth and ten. You don't have a you don't have a strong field goal kicker. No. You got to go for this. All right, the ball need to get to the eight yard line for Memphis Mill. Nope. Turn on one down. Two stop by Perry Hall defense. Now here's my question. Why did they why did they get away from the run? Just like they were doing so great running the ball. Of the down one side to the other side. The result of the play is a turnover on downs, and it'll be first and ten for the Gators from their own 15. I mean the thing is though, Coach Clark, they had a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups because you can see why they passed the ball. Well, he had a good defensive back. Like the, what's up that one play you ever threw? Like I said, we can we can agree to disagree on it, but we can understand why. Yeah. But in that case, a little run would have been helpful. Ray Hall here uses the run to pile their way up for a gain of a couple. Go, go, go. That's a nice game there, Coach. When we the quarterback line, he shifts out of it. It's going to be third and short coming up here for Perry Hall. Number four, Jacob Black at the ball carrier, back on number 33, Neron Dyer at the Perry Hall 30. Oh, he got like a yard. Excuse me, 23 yard line, gain of three, brings up third and one for the Gators. No snap. Blows it up, a wobbler is short, incomplete. I will never, um, I, I guess I'm not coaching. But you got one yard, it's third down. Go for the first down. Deshaun Conway's passing complete attendance for number one. I think Paul Hall might go for it here. Yeah. Brings up fourth and one. What are you going for? This is a big play right here. But if you don't get it, you get enough for Mel. Good field position. Yes, you do. I don't think it's quite a yard. It's about it. It looks like a body yard from our vantage point. Here. Quarterback run coming in all likelihood. Oh, they got him to go offside. First down for Perry Hall. Penalty is encroachment on the defense. They got him. My bad. I'll tell you what got it. all be spotted at the double yeah. Result yeah. over. Because they have been taking the ball on one slap. First down. Oh. 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 Right, me too. Yeah, it might be a game of one, maybe. Number four, Jacob Wagner on the carry. Brought down at the Perry Hall 31 yard line. He gave him two out of that. Yep, they did. And that'll be second and eight for the Gators. Second down and eight. Short pass. Boom. Yeah, quick. Third down. 
solid hit. Third down and about. From all the play recovered by five, Trevor Taylor. At the Perry Hall. Yeah, that play was cool. Bring it up to six. No, it did not. Boss of five on the play brings up third and 15 for the game. What a good hit.
a matchup where, where you, you see Hanford, they go back to the days of the wishbone and a lot of running. What if you're Ali, right, Coach? No. I never did like the wishbone. Hey, hey, Phil. I, the best team that ever ran it was the Brassett. Yep. Trying to do on my offside. Yeah, they were. Are they gonna go for the field goal? We'll find out here in a couple moments. I think that'd be a big mistake in this weather.
second half about to get going here for uh, Perry Hall up three. Nine to six here in this impromptu matchup here for the game of the week this week. Oh boy. Oh! Went off the hands. Touch back. A boomeranging kick, and that's where Memphis Mill will start off in the second Coach Clark, we expect out the Miller's here on offense in the second half. Poor brother. For a touchdown. I mean, right now you can stay in your game because uh, you only got Bill for Bill with a first and ten. Uh, you don't have to do a bunch. It's okay. It's no, I got to pass every down. Stay in your game. Stay in your game plan. I expect that out of both teams. Uh, you don't have to do anything different right now. I mean, both teams ran well, well, pretty well, too. Mm -hmm. I kind of give Milford Mill the edge. This is where I'm saying quarterback under the center. And they're going straight for a run, definitely. They got some movement. Got some in there. He's close to the first down. He might have got it. He got it. What a physical play there. He got some strong legs. He carried the half the team with him. See nine. Wilford Bill, 30 yards on game 10. On the center again, pitch to the outside. It's going to be tough. His old man got Oh, man. They're going to lose a couple yards out of the couple yards on that, too. Look like three. 42. But the old man got it. Yeah. Second and 12. We're coming up here for uh, Memphis Mail. But it's also a good pursuit by Perry Hall. Perry Hall is the Rarely you see in high school sports now where the quarterback is under seven. You don't see it too often anymore. Right. That's, that's all the way around. And Michael Mills back out in the, uh, look like in the shotgun. We're going with a pass play. Oh, incomplete. Very play. Great. 10 26 left here in the third. That was a good defensive play. It was. It'll be third down and long here for uh, the Millers. Sean Perry's passing formation with a receiver on the end. And that's it. Close it. Incomplete. No flags on the play and the ball will be punted away, it looks like it. The short pretty fast That'll bring up fourth down and 12. Well, they left side. Oh boy! He's got to do something with this. I'm trying to run it back. So it's deja vu. They have to play hall to start the game in their first drive. And that happened to Memphis Mel here. Start their drive in the second half. So Perry Hall will start with great bell position here. Similar to how Memphis Mel started off their first drive of the first half. Yep, it's reversed. 
How about that? Remember now that I mean, Perry Hall does have a good yeah. Right. Hey, Perry Hall! And there's a flag on the play. Yeah. The flag is against Memphis Mail as well. So you talk about getting a Christmas gift like gift here. That's what he's saying here. I mean, I'm not a the biggest fan of uh, Halloween, but this could be a trick. Yeah. 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 That's late, they might have lost that They might have lost a couple yards, say they did. They should get this after a second and go. It is. You play how you got to get in the end zone, make this a 10, uh, try to make this a 10 point game. You become a two possession game, you score a touchdown. At least get some points. Flags everywhere. It might be against Curry Hall. Oh, it's against Curry Hall. You can't have more flags that way. That's a little bit of a safety. That's a little bit of a safety. That's a little bit of a safety. Not what you want to have if you're the Davis. You go to Cody. Well, now you're shooting yourself in the foot. Somebody was a little bit too anxious. So the second goal, but right at the uh, 13, run to the edge. Good tackle. Good pursuit. Third down coming up. That's how you always know, play the ball carrier. Almost a perfect pitch of how you hold it. Got down to the number no 15 for no game. Brings up third and goal for the Gator. I would try that pass down the middle of him. Run, looking, caught, no, it's a play. We should have had that. Yeah. Field goal unit out here for the Gators, trying to go up six. The Sean Cohen is fast, complete, and sent it to make a six time of green. The ball is at the 14. To the Gators. 31 yard field goal. Yep, yeah, about 31 yard. I mean, he made the other one earlier. Don't worry, in there. Let's see how this one up. The only danger zone. Second 
showcase game we had for you. Town Hall, Mount St. Joseph, New York Rivalry, and it's a big game for both teams. Mount St. Joseph is staying in the range to have a chance for the two seed. Town Hall want to get back in the race to get into the postseason. Still is, you might get a gift. Field 
This is why you punch. Second and 11. 
at the carryout 50 yard line. Loss of one, second and 11 for the game. Clark changed the run with 340 and counting left here in the court. Third down and 11. As Perry Hall needs to get the ball to their own 41 to continue to drive. So finally stops the play. I think the the best way to blow the best of both fast on So I'm going to be down and about maybe eight. So four for seven. Four for seven. But you punt anyway. We got punts. Four on the play. We got four and seven. Three on the play. Three on the play. Three on the play. Three on the play. See a fake here, you know. Some fans are chatting that. Low slap. That is a spiral. It didn't go far. And she took a metro mail bounce up. And it lands inside of Prairie Hall territory. Still. So good for Hill position again for the Millers. Yes, it is. Two oh eight left here in the corner. Run around the edge here. That is going to be a first down. They don't stop them. They stop them, but nobody was on the edge. Got them with a yard shot. Of it. Remember, there's a lot of running on the edge here. Well, there's nobody there. Yeah. Run up the middle now and gets the first down. First down for Mr. Mel. Run, 
Nothing. Nothing now. Third down. Okay. Good play coming up. Question is, Beverly Mel get this off for the end of the quarter. Yep. So at the three, we got a tight 12 ball game. And the two top teams in Beaumont County Division One going at it here. And we're back with the fourth quarter. Here from White Marsh, coming up more of the DMV High School football. Game of the week for the team. Full quarter here on the way. Good third down play here. And the Millers. No push. Now you go for it. They was watching the Philadelphia Eagles with a little push. In the back there, it's going to be four for sure. Two. Miller's clearly going for it. Maybe 
23. Yard and a half to be exact. Yeah. The carry hole 43 yard line, gain of one, brings up second and nine for the Gators. in a couple seasons. Gain of two on the play brings up second and eight. Looking here to pass. 855 remaining here in this one. Curdy. Did he catch that? Well, he did. He did. That's the first time. He did. Nice, nice hands in the air. Swamp Curry pass completes it over 2-0 in the form at the Swamp Curry yard line. First and 10. Run. Able to break one tackle. Coming around the edge again. And a gain of five by it. Like officials timeout. The so 2 0 Newborn ball carrier. Officials timeout on the field. <laughs> Look in here. Alright. Oh, and a fall there, and look like it's no, it's no, no. Yeah, my mouth keeps it. Lost some yardage on that. 
Yeah. 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 Like between the center and the, and the quarterback, the quarterback and the running back. Low snack. Turnover, give us the oh, we're not running the ball. I don't and each team now has a huge turnover in this game now. But this is a big turn. It's not and really that big. It's not really that big. It's It'd be nice if you get it. It'd be nice if you can get it. Right. But it's not a big, big factor. It's a 20, 28 -3. But you gotta play defense. Corey Costner. But he's just standing at a gift. Your score, Milford Mill 20, Perry Hall 18. Oh my, the drama. Enjoy the defense. The drama thickens here on Espinosa Road. I don't need 
gotta take some time off that clock. You're playing, right now you're playing in the Purdy Hall game. I think Purdy's helmet fell off and every day he gotta come out with third down, that's big. He just, if his helmet came off, he gotta come down, come out to play for third down. David, is that the play to be third? See how he's just third down here, at the back up in, now they go for the run. Well, something a uh, little has to do with them late, but the refs uh, did not flag it. They threw a flag? They did not. It's fourth down, putting in the back out, and uh, the Gators should get good field position here. If they don't buy it. Yeah. Gain of two brings up fourth and eight. How huge is this? How huge is this? Big time. Gotta get that snap. Snap is huge here. Nice. Not the best of kicks, and not the worst receiver. Fair catch. That was a good kick. It was. Fair catch right near the uh, 45. Of, uh, but you still, right now, you're back in. Um, this is what I'm talking about. Caught. Get yourself in the field goal range. Uh, the field goal. Uh, uh, Harry Hall, excuse me, See how this go here. What a game. Line will what a be game. First and ten for the Gators. Better showing a good ones here in recent uh, weeks. Time for the quarterback, big time there. Remember Mill front line. That could have been a flag on that play. But uh, he did, he threw that um, off balance, and it wasn't no pressure. Bring up second right. ten for the game. On your bag, on something. Second and ten. become a factor. I think it has somewhat. Low snap. Goes to short. Bobbled in his hands and he drops. Man. Man. Four for nine. CJ Crump. I, I think Perry Hall lady is going for it. No, they punt. Yeah, they should punt. To me, they should punt. Yeah, that's a good decision. And remember Mel Gray deep. Remember, you got a, a play on the last one on the special team side where they picked up the ball inside the 10. Nice sack. Oh, that's a good punt. That's a real good punt. It went off a Perry Hall player. And that could be against uh, was a flag in late. I'm not sure who it's against. I'm not sure who the flag was against. Yeah, 
Glass still getting together. On the lake flag. I didn't see anything. Nobody interfered with the receiver. Right. So I don't know what they're calling. I was singing that too. But the snap is very important. It is because again, with a two point game, it takes the time to ball game. Now it's got to be, if he goes back in the cover, you got you and Phil going. Right. All you got to do is kill the clock. Yep. They could take the penalty on this. I mean, 
how deep you want to get it. And it'll be first down. In the regular season, he was in the playoff win last year, just murdered him on his field to advance in NBSS. So he's going to go for the on the yard line. Where's the yard line there? They are at, looks like, at the 15. Pretty huge, yeah. Timeout. Look like about Curry Hall, I think. Dumb timeout. Timeout on the field. Dumb timeout. That was a dumb timeout. You in field goal, man. Kill the clock. Oh, yeah. Every play, every play will be a man. I'm very afraid you might want to get your offense a little organized. We'll be back. All right, folks, we're back to game action now. First and ten. Look like at the 13 yard line here for Pine Hall. They're in field goal range already. They probably prefer to punch it in. Straight direct set. to be one of the top teams of all No question, no question. No question about it. They, they put on a good show. And they didn't win this one tonight. They will be respected as a top team. Memphis Bell has owned the county here for several years. Two fifty-eight left. From one of the big regular season wins for the Gators in some years. Now he's got to be very careful. He can't kick that ball out of bounds. No. But I like the way he takes control. Yep. But he can't kick that ball out. And they still have the advantage right there. They, they, they broke that huddle with too many players. Yeah. Let's let that one go. Yeah. Squibber! Got to pick it up. It is pretty decent good field position here. But I can't middle. see the clock, so yeah, keep me in tune how much time it is. 254 remaining. And that's Tyler Green. Oh boy, we just joined us. Now this is crucial. Yeah. You can make them for mill by the time out and go for Also be prepared for the pass. No 
Don't need to call any time out there, you mental man. Number 23, Keon Sutton, the ball carrier, brought down by number two, Noah Williams, among other Gators. When do you pass? You think you remember right now. Clock is running. Now it's time to clock management. This is what this is where I look at coaches. A lot of substitutions here for the Millers. This is where I go from the coaches' point of view. It's clock, it's clock management time. How you manage the clock right now? Still runs. Might have taken time out of you the Millers here. Fox still running at 148. Alright, no question. But you don't feel a lot of time on the clock too. 127 left. Pitch to the outside. And he can get it. Got a call of time right now, you meant for Mel. Got a pretty good bank call of time. 116 remaining. Yeah, we got a call of time. Mel's call of time out, 110 left. This is the game right here. Number five, David Ferguson, the ball carrier on the play, brought down at the Milford Hill Field. This is what I look at when I watch football. Well, how do you move the clock? The yard line, Milford Hill Field, line brings up fourth down. Ooh, mama. Coming out on the field, Milford Hill. Open two.
that's why the clock stopped. Never know that. 16.7 seconds remain. The shot card is past complete. Drop down. You can also mill 26. He's in it for a few seconds. That could carry all Yeah, it might be maybe at 18. Gives up. Yes, indeed. It looked like the rain 
from start to finish. Believe it or not, it's like up just as we ended. <laughs> what a big game, Coach. I'll see you next Friday night on the other side of Baltimore County for the Division II title. We're here for the North Mill trying to stay undefeated. And I hope this will be, be a game just like this one. Yes, sir. I got some business to take care of in Overton with Mount St. Joe's and Cabo Hall. We knew that rivalry and a huge one for both teams. Till we see you in the next one, North Mill. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?